EFI divination system, which originated in West Africa, utilizes a system of binary mathematics to retrieve answers to life's questions and solutions to life's problems from a book of knowledge called the Odus of Ifa. There are 16 major Odus of Ifa, or books of knowledge, and within each book is contained 16 chapters for a total of 256 chapters believed to reference all situations, circumstances, actions, and consequences in life. Orumila, the Orisha of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, is the Orisha associated with the Ifa divination system and is identified as the Grand Priest of Ifa. Performing Ifa divination is done by a priest slash mathematician called a Babalawo. The system of binary mathematics used by the Babalawo to select one of the Odus of Ifa occurs in this fashion. The Babalawo may use a divining chain called an Opele, on which there are eight cowrie shells. The eight cowrie shells on the Opele chain are used as an 8-bit random number generator. In computer science, 8 bits or binary digits is called a byte. The open side of a cowrie shell on the Opele chain corresponds to a binary digit of 1, and the closed side of a cowrie shell on the Opele chain corresponds to a binary digit of 0. In binary mathematics and computer science, there are 2 to the power 8 or 256 different possible values that can be represented by 8 bits or 1 byte. To randomly select one of the 256 values, the Babalawo throws the Opele chain in the air, allowing the 8 cowrie shells to spin freely on the Opele chain. When the Opele chain lands on the ground, each cowrie shell on the Opele chain would have landed with either the open side facing up, indicating a binary 1, or the closed side facing up, indicating a binary value of zero. The Babalawo then writes the 8-bit binary number indicated on the Opele chain in two 4-bit columns on a wooden divination tray called an Opan Ifa and proceeds to read from the corresponding book. Understanding how bits or binary digits are generated in the Ifa divination system also provides us with an analogy to understand how qubits or quantum binary digits operate in quantum computing. First, we must understand that the word quantum refers to the smallest quantity of something. In quantum physics, quantum particles are the subatomic particles, the smallest particles in nature, quarks, electrons, and photons. Whereas classical computers use the flow of electrons or electricity in states of high and low voltage to electronically create digital binary digits, quantum computers are able to use the quantum mechanical properties of the electron itself. As an electron spins, it creates a north and south dipole. The direction that an electron spins will determine which direction the electron's north dipole is pointing. Let us use a single cowrie shell on the Opele chain as an analogy for an electron. And let's have the open side of the cowrie shell represent the north dipole of the electron. As you can see, in three-dimensional space, the north dipole of our cowrie shell electron can have an infinite number of positions. Just as we previously defined before, the open side of the cowrie shell pointing up corresponds to a value of 1, and the open side of the cowrie shell pointing down corresponds to a value of 0. But as our cowrie shell electron spins, it can also have an infinite number of statistical probability values that when it lands it will have a value of 0 and 1. While our cowrie shell electron is spinning in the air, we can think of it as being in a quantum superposition state of both 0 and 1 at the same time, and we will not know its final value until it is measured, i.e. lands on the ground. Although this is somewhat paradoxical and counterintuitive, this is the way that quantum binary digits or qubits work. Just like the classical computer uses logic gates to create digital circuits which use binary digits, quantum computers use quantum gates to create quantum circuits which use qubits. Quantum computers utilize the infinite number of superposition states of an electron to perform parallel or simultaneous computing operations exponentially faster than classical computers, which improves the efficiency of processing and managing big data.